What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks. I have the Barcelona jersey on. I honestly do not watch soccer. I just like the colorway. Got Messi, arguably the greatest of all time. Got him on. But today, guys, we're going to talk about how the sneaker game is changing. And Nike is switching things up because it realizes the sneaker game has changed. But golly, Nike had a huge huge restock today on just sneakers they had the 72 and 10 11s they had the jordan one woman's olives they had the jordan one low stealth they had the jordan one mid fire red they had the jordan one mid coconut they had so many shoes it was ridiculous it was just coming and coming and coming but here's the thing i really want to talk about and you guys need to pay attention right now nike is now allowing bulk orders so the sneaker game has changed where people are just not buying everything as things are starting to sit in Nike. Here's the thing, Nike is a business. Nike wants to have revenue in this company. Nike wants to make profit. And here's the thing, now we're in a sneaker recession. People are just not buying sneakers like they were before. A lot of those COVID resellers are not reselling anymore. Let's be real. A lot of people that were killing the game during COVID or the time a little bit after when things started to open up and the demand was high, they were stimulus. It was a booming, booming time for sneaker reselling in the sneaker game. Now a lot of those people are gone. It's funny because in my Discord, people talk about that as well. It's like, man, all these people that used to resell, they're, they're not there anymore. They're not there anymore. So now Nike realized that. Here's the thing, Nike understands the sneaker market. It's a multi-billion dollar company. It understands those things. So it makes adjustments. And now Nike's allowing bulk orders because I guess it wants revenue. And here's the thing, those Jordan 1 low stealths, those things are really, really good. And they are a fast mover. You have the gray, you have the white, on right there the side panel and then you have the gray on the swoosh that's an easy shoe to sell but like i said nike's allowing bulk orders so i bought five the limit is five but i bought five easily and a lot of times beforehand nike was always one per person but now it's hey get five of those things same thing with the olive mids that look just like the mocha like you can't really tell i gotta see them in hand but they sold out before but they look like the mocha mids and i bought five of those as well nike understands it wants to get inventory out and you saw with the big restock as you know nike never sells out so Nike just dumped a lot of pairs on the Nike app so it can continue to sell shoes and continue to get revenue Nike doesn't do anything by accident <laughs> Nike does not do anything by accident and on top of that man you think about the Nike outlet look at all my Nike outlet videos now the Nike outlet is allowing people to get really big bulk orders hey take 10 of those hey take five of those because they understand the sneaker game has changed this is like pre-covid pre-covid they allow me to get a lot of pairs because they understand it's a business they want people to actually buy pairs you saw my last video we're going to talk about this Foot Locker flex and all those guys too now they changed the rule back to you can get three or five per person because they understand there's not that many people actually buying up shoes like they were before so this video i'm telling you right now is that if you're really reselling you can really rack up shoes yes the market is not as high as it used to be but now it's easier to actually get shoes and stores actually want to sell you more shoes want to create revenue inside their company so this is the time this reminds me of 2016 2017 where jordans were sitting you see all my videos about jordan sitting everywhere and hey you can capitalize on it if you know exactly what you're doing and in my discord man we go through it in detail how to get discounts how to use rewards how to use different things so you actually save money because you can save so much money it is ridiculous save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars if you know how to do it correctly so that's a lot of the things that we talk about in my discourse to actually save money so you can create profit because at the end of the day now it's so much easier to get shoes because of this sneaker recession but like i said those jordan one stealths they're going up. Jordan 1 Low, phenomenal colorway. Grab those. There's a couple other shoes. Like I said, the Jordan 1 Mid Olives. Grab those as well. Let me know in the comment section below what you grabbed on this massive 
restock. It was a massive restock by Nike. Nike was dumping his pairs on the app so they can actually, you know, get the shoe out and get create revenue. They want to get those stuff. It's not real. Nike really never sells out. They always have, you know, shoes in the chamber. On top of that, guys, talking about the Jordan 1 taxis. Guys, make sure you're doing your flex reservations right now. Those shoes right there are going to sit for a couple of days. They're not going to be an instant sellout. Uh, on top of that, DTLR, they have the raffle. On top of that, Snipes have the raffle. A lot of boutiques are doing first come, first serve. So make sure you're actually doing a sneakers app. You have that as well. So again, times have changed. And I just reference this shoe to the Shattered Backboards because back when, it, I believe 2015, Shattered Backboards did not sell out instantly. They were actually sitting. Now it's a thousand a uh, $1,500 shoe. So I'm not saying the taxis are gonna get that high, but the taxis over time, again, if you have capital, then you maybe wanna invest in the shoe. If you're just a person that don't wanna wait a while for a shoe to go up, then don't invest in them. But if you do have the capital and you can get the shoe for below retail, if you know what you're doing, you can actually get the Jordan 1 taxis for below retail. So guys, this is a perfect time, man, if you know what you're doing to actually get sneakers, to actually start making money. Because again, it's easier to get sneakers and if it's done correctly, you can actually get a discount. On top of that, guys, man, Jordan Brand is coming with some heat, man. The Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott Olives are coming out in 2023. And here's the thing about Travis Scott, man. He's making a lot of Jordan 1 Low Travis Scotts. You got the Black Phantom. You have the Other Woman exclusive. Now you have this Olive. You had the Fragments. You had the Reverse Mochas. You had the OG Mochas. Like, there's a lot of Jordan 1 Low. Here's the thing. Why aren't they making highs? Why, why are they keep on pushing the Jordan 1 low Travis Scott's like there's so many other models you have the Jordan 1 high OG like I said you have the Jordan 4 you have those why not make more hopefully they allow Travis Scott to make more because in my opinion the Jordan 1 low is getting played out let me know in the comment section man I feel like it's getting played out they're making way too many Jordan 1 lows of the Travis Scott I know they're making it women exclusive you know Nike is all about equality so they want to make some you know hot shoes for the women but still Deal. Come on, come on, Nike. Let's get some different Travis Scott's model. I know they're giving them the Jordan 7 Travis Scott's. As you know, Travis Scott is probably Nike's marquee guy, and they're giving him the Jordy 7s to see what he can do. Of course, they will sell out. It's going to be interesting to see what they look like. But man, guys, I want another Travis Scott that's not a Jordan 1 low, but they will sell out instantly. And guys, there's another shoe I'm going to talk about in the next video that people are sleeping on. A shoe right here that I believe is going to go really high in price. It is coming out pretty soon. And I want to talk about that in detail. On top of that, guys, man, make sure you're checking your foot lockers. Make sure you check your JD Sports because in my Discord, a lot of people cooked on that navy blue dunk and, you know, on JD Sports. But again, dunks have been restocking everywhere. DTLR, JD Sports, Foot Locker, Champs athlete's foot man we've been really cooking on athlete's foot as well with the panda dunks so make sure you stay in tune with your store making sure that you're getting these shoes that you can create profit on guys man sneaker game has changed you have to make adjustments there are actually less competition now so if you really want to do this and you can really benefit and guys if you're a sneakerhead if you're a sneakerhead, now you can really get shoes that you really want and it's a lot easier than the COVID time. Reminds me again, like I said, 2016, 2017, and I'm liking it so far. Really do appreciate you guys for watching this video. I want to make this video real quick with this Nike restock. More videos are coming out, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. On top of that, guys, man, make sure you follow me on WhatNot. I am going to go live next week on WhatNot, and there is going to be straight fire there, man. My first episode of my first live is going to be straight straight fire you know i have inventory here have inventory there have inventory here and it's some crazy stuff that i got so make sure you are following me at sniper kicks 32 on whatnot the link will be in the description section below and it's gonna be bananas it's gonna be bananas so make sure you follow me next week we are going live i believe on wednesday and it's gonna be crazy really do appreciate you guys for watching this video you already know sniper kicks out peace